Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, it is no longer news that 17 of the Nigerian Army's finest men, whom we have come to bury, were murdered in a reprehensible manner in Okwama community in Delta State, while they went on a legitimate peacemaking mission. The date was 14th March 2024. The day broke like any other day, but the majority of citizens of Nigeria did not know what the day held in store for the country. Later in the day, news filtered in that soldiers of the Nigerian army had been killed in a community known as Okwama Community in Delta State in the Niger Delta region of Nigeria. The news came as a rude shock to many. It was unbelievable that persons who all along have been trained for battle could be brought down in their numbers in such a barbaric manner. In just a matter of hours, the Nigerian army released a statement that indeed, 17 of their gallant soldiers, 4 officers and 13 men had just been killed in Okwama community. The soldiers are said to have been on a peace mission to the community and along the way, they were ambushed, killed and their bodies desecrated. The country mourned their gruesome murder and on Wednesday, the 27th day of March 2024, their bodies were buried at the National Cemetery Abuja in the Federal Capital Territory of Nigeria amidst tears from family members, colleagues and Nigerians at large. In this edition of Back in History, we present to you the names, the faces and the profiles of the 17 slain soldiers. Welcome to this edition of Back in History. The first person was the most senior officer in the team, Lieutenant Colonel Abdullahi Hazan Ali. His force number was N12079. He was born on 18th May 1975 in Kano and held from Fage local government area of Kano State. He had his primary education at Koka Special Primary School Fage where he obtained his first school leaving certificate. He thereafter proceeded to Government Senior Grammar School Guazo, where he obtained his West African Second School Certificate. Hungry for more education, the young Abdullahi then proceeded to College of Arts and Remedial Studies Kano for his A-level studies. On completion of his studies, he gained admission into one of Nigeria's foremost universities, Osman Danfodio University, Sokoto, where he studied and successfully graduated with a Bachelor of Science degree in Political Science. Abdullahi then opted to make a career in the Nigerian Army through its short service window. He made the necessary applications and was enlisted into the Nigerian Army on 2nd October 1996. He was later granted short service combatant commission on 17th December 2005 as a member of the short service course 34 in the rank of second lieutenant. He converted to regular combatant commission effective 24 November 2010. He was of the infantry corps. He rose through the ranks from second lieutenant to lieutenant to captain to major and to the rank of lieutenant colonel, which was conferred on him on 17th November 2020 about two years before his assassination on 14th March 2024. His next rank, obviously, would have been the rank of Colonel. The second person is Major Daniel Ekuobi. Daniel was from Boki local government area of Cross River State. He was born on 20th December 1985. His first enrollment number was N14395. Daniel was born in Niger State in northern Nigeria. Daniel attended Atlas School, Lagos for his primary and secondary school education. On completion of his secondary education, Daniel took a decision to make a career in the Nigerian Army. He applied for admission into the Nigerian Defense Academy and was admitted on 8 July 2006 as a member of regular course 58 and was later granted regular combatant commission on 17th September 2011 in the rank of second lieutenant. 
He was of the Nigerian Army Engineers before his Intercorps transfer was approved to the Infantry Corps. He was commissioned as second lieutenant from where he rose to the rank of lieutenant, rose to the rank of captain, and to the rank of major, which was conferred on him on 8 July 2020, about two years before his demise on 14th March 2024. In the funeral program distributed at the graveyard on the day of the interment, the following was said of Major Daniel by the Nigerian Army. Quote, During his bomb disposal course, he was dedicated, hardworking, and displayed a good level of innovativeness. He contributed intelligently to discussions and showed good leadership traits on the course. He also exhibited a commendable level of organization, focus, and preparedness during his young officer's course, engineers. He displayed a good understanding of military engineering and potential for development. While on junior course, he was eager to learn and displayed balanced knowledge of both service and contemporary issues. End of quote. The next officer is Major Salisu Danjuma Shafa. The gentleman major was born on 27th March 1985. He was from Hawu local government area of Borono State. His force number was N13976. He had his primary education at Shafa Primary School, Hawu, where he obtained his first school leaving certificate. Thereafter, the young Salisu was enrolled at Government Senior Science Secondary School, Bill, where he obtained his senior school certificate. Salisu then proceeded to the University of Meiduguri, where he acquired his Bachelor of Science degree in Zoology. He was granted short service combatant commission on 6 April 2011 in the rank of second lieutenant and converted to regular combatant commission on 23 August 2018. He was of the Nigerian Army Ordnance Corps and later transferred to the Infantry Corps on 6 April 2020. Salisu rose to the rank of major on the 6th day of November 2022, before his demise on 14th March 2024. He wore the rank for barely one year and some months before he was murdered. The next officer is Captain Usman Zakari, whose force number was N16348. Zachary was born on 11th May 1989. He was born at Kefi Nasarawa State. His state of origin was Kebi State, where he hailed from Danko Wasagu local government area. He grew up under the watchful eyes of his parents, and when he came of age, he was enrolled at the Army Children's School, Kashi, where he obtained his first school living certificate. He thereafter proceeded to government secondary school Kefi Nasarawa State where he obtained a secondary school leaving certificate. From secondary school, he moved to the Federal Polytechnic Nasarawa, where he was awarded the Higher National Diploma in Marketing. He was granted short service combatant commission on 12 September 2015 as a member of the short service course 43 in the rank of second lieutenant. He was later promoted to the rank of lieutenant and to the rank of captain which was conferred on him on 3rd January 2023. He was of the Nigerian Army Corps of Supply and Transport before his inter-corps transfer was approved to the Infantry Corps. He wore the rank of captain for barely one year and two months before his gruesome murder. The other person is Staff Sergeant Yahaya Saidu who was born on 14th October 1973 into the family of Alaji Yahya of Bebeji town in Bebeji local government area of Kano state. The late staff sergeant enlisted into the Nigerian army on 19th July 1993 as a member of 36 regular intake and was subsequently posted to the infantry corps center in Jaji. Late staff sergeant Yahya served at 81 BN and 181 Amphibious Battalion, Bomadi, 
Delta State before his demise. He is said to have been a gallant and brave soldier who had been deployed to several operations in the course of his service to the nation of Nigeria. The next person is Corporal Dambaba Yahaya, who was born on 12 August 1989 into the family of Alaji Dambaba of Toro Town in Toro local government area of Boji State. The late corporal enlisted into the Nigerian Army on 2nd September 2010 as a member of 65 regular intake and was subsequently posted to the Infantry Corps Center, Jaji. Corporal Dambaba served at 145BN and 181 Amphibious Battalion Bomadi, Delta State, before his demise. Let Corporal Kabiru Bashir was the next person. He was born on 14th February 1990 into the family of Alaji Bashir of Dala in Dala local government area of Kano State. The late corporal enlisted into the Nigerian army on 6 September 2011 as a member of 66 regular intake and was subsequently posted to the infantry corps center Jaji. The next person is Lance Corporal Bulus Haruna. Bulus Haruna was born on 15th July 1994 into the family of Mr. Haruna in Kaduna North local government area of Kaduna State. The late Lance Corporal enlisted into the Nigerian Army on 4th July 2016 as a member of 75 regular intake and was subsequently posted to the Nigerian Army Armor Corps, Bauchi. Lance Corporal Bulus Haruna served at 22 Armor Brigade, Garrison and 181 Amphibious Battalion, Bomadi, Delta State, before his demise. The ninth person on the list is Lance Corporal Shole Okweyemi. He was from Ogun State in the southwestern part of Nigeria. He was born on 31st December 1993 in Udogbolu local government area of Ogun State. The late Lance Corporal enlisted into the Nigerian Army on 10th June 2017 as a member of 76 regular intake and was subsequently posted to the Infantry Corps Center Jaji. Let Lance Corporal Shole Okweyemi served at 195 Battalion and 181 Amphibious Battalion, Bomadi, Delta State, before his demise. Okweyemi had previously served in Operation Lafia Dole before he was posted to Delta. The tenth person is Lance Corporal Abdullah Ibrahim. Ibrahim was born on 13th July 1999 into the family of Alaji Ibrahim in Saki local government area of Oyo State. He enlisted into the Nigerian Army on 23rd April 2018 as a member of 77 regular intake and was subsequently posted to the Nigerian Army Armor Corps, Bauchi. Let Lance Corporal Abdullah Ibrahim served at 221 Battalion and 181 Amphibious Battalion, Bomadi, Delta State before he was killed. The 11th person is Lance Corporal Bello Anas. Anas was born on 17th April 1999. He was from Bodinga local government area of Sokoto State. He was enlisted into the Nigerian Army on 23rd April 2019 as a member of 78th regular intake and was subsequently posted to the Infantry Corps Center, Jaji. Let Lance Corporal Bello Anas served at 199 Special Forces Battalion and 181 Amphibious Battalion, Bomadi, Delta State before his demise. He had previously participated in Operation Hadin Kai before his deployment to Delta. Number 12 is Private Alaji Isa, who held from Fika local government area of Yubu State. He was born on 7th September 1997 into the family of Alaji Isa of Gadaka, the late private enlisted into the Nigerian army on 10th June 2017 as a member of 76 regular intake and was subsequently posted to the infantry corps center Jaji. Late private Alaji Isa served at 181 Amphibious Battalion, Bomadi, Delta State, Nigeria. Number 13 is Private Haman Peter, Peter was from Taraba State. 
He enlisted into the Nigerian Army on 23rd April 2019 as a member of 78 regular intake and was subsequently posted to the Infantry Corps Center, Jaji. Late Private Herman Peter served in the amphibious battalion Bomadi, Delta State, during which time he lost his life in service. He had previously participated in Operation Harding Kai before his deployment to Delta State. Soldier number 14 was Private Clement Francis. Clement was born on 7th September 1998. He was from Odeda, local government area of Ogun State. He enlisted into the Nigerian Army on 23rd April 2019 as a member of 78 regular intake and was subsequently posted to the Infantry Corps Center, Jaji. Let Private Clement Francis served at 181 Amphibious Battalion. He was also killed along with his colleagues on the ill-fated day of 14th March 2024. He was buried along with his slain colleagues. Number 15 is Private Abubakar Ali. Abubakar was born on 25th May 1999. In essence, he was barely 25 years old at the time of his murder. He was from Begubi, Nagere in Potiskum local government area of Yubi State. In April 2019, he enlisted into the Nigerian Army as a member of 78 regular intake and was subsequently posted to the Infantry Corps Center, Jaji. Private Abubakar Ali served at 63 Brigade Garrison and 181 Amphibious Battalion, Bomadi, Delta State, before his demise. Soldier number 16 is Private Adamu Ibrahim. Adamu was born on 10th January 1998 into the family of Alaji Adamu in Maidugri Metropolitan Council, local government area of Borono State. The late private enlisted into the Nigerian Army on 23rd April 2019 as a member of 78 regular intake and was subsequently posted to the Infantry Corps Center, Jaji. Let Private Adamu Ibrahim served at 181 Amphibious Battalion, Bomadi, Delta State, before his demise. The last but not the least is Private Adamu Ibrahim, who was born on 1st February 1998 into the family of Alaji Adamu in Al Basu local government area of Kano State. The late private enlisted into the Nigerian Army on 18th January 2021 as a member of 80 regular intake and was subsequently posted to the Infantry Corps Center, Jaji. Let Private Adamu Ibrahim served at 181 Amphibious Battalion Bomadi, Delta State, before his assassination. It has been reported that these soldiers were not killed in battle but in an ambush, hence the possibility of overpowering such a large number in one fell swoop. As noted earlier, the soldiers were on a peace mission to settle some warring factions in the Okoma community of Delta State, but unknown to them, armed men were already waiting for them and as soon as they drove into their enclave, they were shot sporadically, leading to the demise of these 17 officers and men of the Nigerian army. Their bodies were interred at the National Cemetery Abuja with the President of Nigeria, President Bola Ahmed Tunubu, in attendance. Also in attendance were service chiefs and other senior officers of the armed forces of Nigeria. Members of the political class, state governors, family members of the deceased soldiers, members of the press and other sympathizers also attended the funeral. It was a solemn moment by all reasonable assessment. People cried unconsolably. Even on the face of the ADC to the president, himself a well-trained officer, one could see drops of tears on his face. Many other soldiers shed tears. Family members wept unconsolably. It was indeed a sad moment in Nigeria's military history. As commander-in-chief of the armed forces of Nigeria, President Bola Ahmed Tunubu who was physically present at this inauspicious event, rose to the podium and addressed the gathering in the following words, quote, I commiserate with the families of our fallen heroes and the entire armed forces. 
I share in the pain and grief you carry today. It is my prayer that God will comfort all who are bereaved as a result of this tragedy. It is worth restating the debt of gratitude we owe these valiant soldiers and their families. As Commander-in-Chief, I do not take the contributions of members of our armed forces for granted. I recognize your valor and bravery. I honor your unflinching commitment to making our country safe from criminals, bandits, kidnappers, and insurrectionists. While we continue to grieve for the courageous men we lost that day, let us also, on this solemn occasion, be reminded of the unfinished business of working for peace and harmony in our communities. We must begin to rebuild our communities and make them into places where love, tolerance, and harmony will reign. Leaders at all levels, especially community leaders and traditional rulers, must work to strengthen the bonds that unite us. We must end the cycle of violence and bloodletting. The president went on to say, still in quotes, I want to make it clear once more that those who committed this heinous crime will not go unpunished. We will find them and our departed heroes will get justice. The elders and chiefs of Okuama also have a duty to help the military in fishing out the gunmen who committed the barbaric crime against our men. I wish to also commend our armed forces for their restraint in choosing not to carry out any reprisal attacks in Okuama or its neighboring communities. We must all ensure that the innocent people of Okuama are not made to bear the punishment of the guilty and wicked among them. The president continued, still in quote, to the entire armed forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, I have a message for you. Do not let the death of your compatriots discourage you. There is no higher honor than the vocation you have chosen to pursue. We cherish you. We cherish your labor of love. We salute your daily sacrifice in protecting your fellow citizens from danger. We acknowledge your sacrifices to defend our nation. Within our continent, our sub-region, and across the world, the Nigerian army has remained a force for good, embodying a great example and keeping a democracy safe. The president then added, still in quotes, it is now our duty to protect the families of our departed heroes. The federal government will provide a house in any part of our country to each of the families of the four officers and 13 soldiers. The federal government has also approved scholarship to all the children of the deceased up to the university level. The military must, within the next 90 days, ensure that all the benefits of the departed are paid to their families. He then ended his speech in the following words, quote, May the families of the departed and all their loved ones find the strength to bear the pain of this loss. May God grant our heroes eternal rest. May God continue to bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria and keep our troops safe always. End of quote. These soldiers were also awarded posthumous national honors. The four officers were each accorded the award of member of the Order of the Niger, MON, while the 13 soldiers were each awarded the honor of the Officer of the Federal Republic, OFR. These awards are usually conferred on citizens of the country, civilians and military alike, who have distinguished themselves in their services to the country and to humanity at large. Another very emotional point of the event was when the Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Taurid Lagbaja, took to the microphone and told the gathering that the slain officers and men left behind a total of 10 widows, three of whom are four, five, and eight months pregnant. Also left behind is a total of 21 orphans several dependents and aged parents. The chief of army staff added, quote, We shall do all within our powers to provide succor to them and preserve the memories of their departed loved ones. 
End of quote. 21 gun salutes were rendered in honor of the slain military personnel and prayers were offered by the clergy for the repose of their souls. An assessment of the number of soldiers according to their states of origin shows that out of the 17 soldiers, one was from the south-south, while three were from the southwest, and the remaining 12 were from the northern section of Nigeria. These 17 soldiers will be sorely missed for their services to Nigeria. It is hoped that the government of President Bola Metunubu will keep to his promises to the families of the slain soldiers. For us in the Bagin history family, it is a fervent prayer that the creator of mankind will grant eternal rest to the souls of the 17 soldiers who died in an ambush in the Koma community of Delta State of Nigeria on 14th March 2024, even as we also pray that their family members may receive healing and lasting consolation and also have closure. Our sympathy also goes to the Nigerian army as a family. Thanks for watching this edition of Back in Istra. And do remember to subscribe to this channel or follow the page for regular notification on every new video. I remain your friend and host, Kemini Udim, appreciating you for keeping us company on this journey for the documentation of the history of Africa and of the world.